feel like I'm rushing this one because I'm trying to get it done before anybody comes in into the office this morning, but we'll see how we get on. Welcome back to the Data Protection Diaries. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are going to be talking about FireEye and the recent cybersecurity incident that hit the US cybersecurity firm last week. Contrary to what you might think, we're not going to go into the details of what happened to FireEye and why, but we are going to talk about why it's important and why it actually is a very valuable lesson to be learned. Before that, as always, if you enjoy these videos, if you like this content, please do give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure that you hit that little notification bell. All of those things just really help us to make sure that doing these videos is worthwhile and that people enjoy them and people find them useful. Enough of all that waffle, let's get on with the video. So last week, it was widely reported in the news that the US cyber security firm FireEye had been hit with a targeted and very sophisticated cyber attack. Now, FireEye, for those of you that don't know or haven't already seen the news, is a huge US-based cyber security company that works with a lot of the Fortune 500. They work with a lot of US government agencies and they provide, amongst other things, a variety of tools and technologies that allow um, organizations and companies and allow them to test their cybersecurity posture through a variety of penetration testing activities. A lot of these tools are red team tools, so tools around scripting, tools around um, analyzing network and infrastructure for vulnerabilities, and that appears to be what the hackers were after. Now, why would hackers want to gain access to these kind of tools? Well, so that they can understand how to hack other people better and understand how organisations are being protected. But as I say, that's not the reason that I wanted to talk about FireEye today, because there are many, many other more technically gifted and technically minded people that can explain all of the details of that. The important thing here and the important lesson to be learned from the FireEye breach is very, very simply that almost any organisation can be hacked and everybody is potentially a target. Now, you would assume that because FireEye is a sophisticated cybersecurity company that they're going to be immune to these kinds of attacks and that's just not the case. FireEye CEO has written in a blog post that the attack was incredibly sophisticated using a number of different techniques and methods blended together in a way that even they had never seen before. The belief here is that this is a Russian state-sponsored attack and that these people are incredibly skilled, incredibly technically gifted and incredibly intelligent. That means that this wasn't just on a whim, it wasn't just done on an afternoon. This was likely a specific targeted attack against an organisation which they had taken a lot of time to learn about and a lot of time to understand. There were really two choices here for FireEye. They could have dealt with the incident internally, shut their doors, pretended it never happened and consumed the loss and, and got on with it. Or they could have done what they did, which was to publicly come out, tell people that they had been attacked, inform people what had happened and more importantly, tell people how it happened and go into a breakdown of the incident, go into a breakdown of the investigation and how the attack panned out. Now you may be thinking that this is an absolutely catastrophic idea and it's possibly the worst thing that a company can do, but it's actually the best thing that a company could have done, especially for a company like FireEye, because it's demonstrated the most important thing in cybersecurity, which is that absolutely anybody can be a target and anybody can be attacked. More importantly than that, that anybody can learn from somebody else's attack. Anybody can learn from somebody else's loss and we can all take a win from it. And that's incredibly important here today and that's the key point. Now, I'm not saying that if you suffer uh, an attack within your organisation, that the first thing you should do is, is write a blog post about it and post it up online and email all of your customers and be, you know, we've sent an email to the wrong place or we've, or we've been attacked. But what I am saying is that the stigma that is associated with being attacked, having a data loss, suffering a hack 
needs to be removed from the industry. These things happen every single day. They happen to every organization. Every organization is constantly under some kind of attack, be it targeted or be it automated. There is no shame in suffering an attack. It's going to happen most likely to most of us at some point through our organizations, be it through a simple phishing attack, be it through an attack on our website, be it through data loss, IP theft, these things happen. What's important is how we deal with it and how we encourage the industry to talk about it, to develop an ideology and to develop awareness between ourselves that it's all right to suffer an attack. What's important is how you deal with it and how you move forwards. And that's really what FireEye have done beautifully. They've written a blog post, they've detailed how the attack happened, and that is potentially going to save a huge number of other organisations from suffering the same fate. So the message here today is if you have suffered an attack, if you are suffering a cyber attack, if you've had an incident in the past, it is not something to be ashamed of. It is not something to be embarrassed about. It is an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to improve. And if you're working in this industry, as many of you people watching these videos today are, remember, it could have been you, it could have been your organisation. And actually the best thing that we can do, and the best thing that we can do for the industry is support each other, look after each other, and be open and honest about why these things happen, how these things happen, and just try and support each other. For today, that's it. That's all I really wanted to cover. As always, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Drop any comments down below and I promise I will get back to those as well. But thank you very much for watching the video today and Merry Christmas.